We are looking at this historic patrol boat built by Vancouver Shipyards in 1944. I am Dave Kaiser with Waterline Boats and Boatshed Port Townsend. I am happy to answer any questions you may have about this boat, its construction, and its great potential. This historic patrol boat was last surveyed in August of 2021. The surveyor stated that all portions of the vessel inspected appeared sound. A number of electrical and electronic projects that were initiated by the current owner are still in need of completion. Let's go inside and take a look at the beautiful craftsmanship that defines this historic vessel. We enter the main salon through the double doors on the port side deck. The main settee gets our attention with its vintage upholstery and wooden trim. We continue into the salon, looking left to view the entrance to the galley and the passageway to the nav station. We continue circling around the salon. Note the beautiful woodwork and vintage lighting. From the salon, we pass into the master suite. We walk into the spacious cabin of the master suite and see that the queen-sized bed is easily accessed from three sides. The bed is mounted on a raised pedestal with built-in storage drawers. We continue looking around the main cabin of the master suite, noting the beautiful wood paneling and the accent trim work. Also note the abundance of windows for great natural lighting. Each window is designed to open providing ventilation to the master suite. Looking further, observe how the historic character of this vessel is maintained throughout the numerous vintage lighting fixtures. From the rear of the master suite, we look forward and move back into the master suite passageway. To the port side is the tub and shower room. The master suite has a separate full-sized jetted tub. A shower head is also installed above the tub. Turning around to starboard, we enter the head compartment within the master suite. We note the full-size standard flush toilet with a freshwater flush system. We note beautiful woodwork and abundant natural lighting and ventilation. We now leave the master suite and cross the main salon into the starboard side galley. We note that the galley has a standard sized over under reefer freezer with a microwave perched on top. The galley counter has a single well stainless steel sink. We take a closer look at the Dickinson Atlantic diesel cook stove. This stove provides a large cooking surface and a baking oven and a source of dry heat in cold weather. Note the built-in dish storage above the stove. We turn to our left and look at the built-in shelving unit that can be used to store a variety of galley supplies or equipment. Above this unit is an extra set of main motor start controls and monitor gauges. We return to the main salon and walk along the port side passageway, noting the working portholes and the built-in storage racks. We continue walking forward to the nav station and then step back to look at the double stack of built-in storage drawers. We now turn to enter the home station. Lots of windows provide great forward and side visibility from the helm. The helm station has a single door for easy access to the starboard side deck. The historic nature of this vessel is seen on the helm station woodwork and in the wooden wheel with its brass hub. The current state of progress on some of the electronic upgrades is visible. This concludes our inside tour on the main deck. Thank you for taking this tour with me. For additional details or to schedule a showing, please contact me, Dave Kaiser, at waterlineboats.com.